what is going on guys? Kosho here at the Lions Den located at Colmar, PA. Uh, we did a previous video where it was basically a chest workout. It's like my day one. Uh, this is gonna be the second uh, push day. So we actually started with an overhead press. Uh, it was just a nice primer movement for the upper body as well as my comeback to strongman. So I'm just trying to work a little bit overhead work throughout the week, so it's a good day to do that. And then it'll go back into chest uh, similar hypertrophy exercises, but just a little bit different than the first day. So uh, we're probably gonna do some sets of five because we love fives. Okay, let's do five. And uh, that's what we got on tap. I was talking mad. I was talking mad smack on these guys, and I almost tripped over a bench and died. It's the universe. The universe is keeping me humble. Oh. Oh, damn it! Freak is so good too. All right, so working up uh, to five reps at RP eight, uh, and then we're gonna do a couple back off sets, but nothing crazy here. I don't really have any high expectations. Just trying to work on good technique. I actually made a whole pressing playlist on YouTube, which we'll link right here. So you guys can watch all those videos. It goes over technique, you know, mistakes, ways to improve your press, etc. Uh, so lots of good stuff in there uh, that I'm kind of focusing on while we do this. So I encourage you guys to go watch that. But that's kind of what we're doing. Uh, but one tip I do want to give you guys that I think a lot of people aren't aware of is the press, even though it is upper body and shoulders, right? There's a large portion of this uh, comes from the base, okay, our feet, uh, and also our, our lower body, like our glutes. So keeping your butt nice and tight, keeping your feet planted, finding the proper stance width, uh, something that can really help influence uh, and make your press even better than it already is. So just kind of pay attention to those things, and that's something I was thinking about as I was pressing. Move my grip in closer to engage more uh, triceps, and then also when pressing up, I focused on uh, pushing my head through under the bar. That in my head it, it helps drive the bar up. Do you guys see these freaking pressing shoes? Look at these things. Do you see the heel on these? Total instability. <laughs> now these don't wear these shoes for pressing. Like I said, I'm slowly integrating back into it. So. I don't really have elbow sleeves or wraps, no belt today, and certainly no lifting shoes. But as I get closer, I will start throwing on more and more gear. Um, what this actually helps you really focus on is your stability. So, you know, when you don't have flat shoes or lifting shoes on, you really gotta pay attention to like where your weight distribution is in your foot to make sure that the bar's not wobbling, you're not wobbling, and you know, killing yourself with a barbell, smashing in your skull, bleeding out all over the place, brain matter, it's, it's disgusting. Okay, rise on, right? All right, let's go. Yeah. Beautiful, come on. Push, 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 come on. That's it. Come on, drive hard. Squeeze your butt. Press, press, press. Head through. Come on. It's been a while. I was honestly quicker than the last one. Wait, what? Yeah, I was quicker than the last oh, one. Oh, man. At, at the lion's den, the, the minimal requirement is you have to be a decent presser. If you can't press, you can't be a member here. Uh, you, we don't care what your deadlift or what your squat or your bench is. Definitely not your bench. We care about your press. This is a pressing only gym. <laughs> All right, guys, so one thing that has been super helpful for me with pressing is frequency and variation. 
Um, I think a lot of times, especially when I was like doing a lot more um, Olympic lifting, it was a lot of push pressing. Um, so I have found that adding um, a strict press and um, a pin press in addition to a push press has been helpful. And obviously the more you do it, the more you're gonna get better at that lift. Good. Uh, I'm thinking maybe today I'll end with top set 255 for a set of five. Uh, I'm a little out of the game. I was doing 225 for sets of 10. Yeah, so all right, it'll come back. It'll come back. So now we're going to do incline dumbbell press. Uh, we'll do three sets. Uh, first set should be around 15 reps. Uh, we use the same dumbbells. So naturally due to fatigue, we want to try to stay around 15 or if they drop anywhere between that 12 and 15 rep range. Totally cool. Uh, rest time is going to be about two and a half, three minutes between each set. Now when it comes to the incline dumbbell, what I've noticed over time is having to uh, just play around with different positions, okay? And hand angles as well. So we always want to make sure you get a nice deep stretch. Uh, but sometimes, depending on if your hands are going to be further back or forward, same thing with the angle of your wrist with the dumbbell, plays a role in you know how it's going to affect uh, your your chest and your training. So it's not a one size fits all type of scenario here. Figure out what works best for you to hit the targeted uh, muscle specifically that you're looking to to do. So play around with those variables, and uh, you can watch what I'm doing and see if it works for you. So training uh, push day, right, twice a week. Uh, you guys watched the last one that we put out. So that was day one, this is gonna be day two. Uh, physique update, right now I'm 248. So I started this cut uh, 10 weeks ago, right around 270. At my highest, I weighed into a competition at 275, but you know, water, sodium intake kind of fluctuates a little bit. But 10 weeks ago, 270, 248 today. Uh, probably lose a couple more pounds. I have about five weeks left in this cut. I'm gonna just try to finish it out with you know full force, good integrity with everything, and then transition back into some strength training. I got my two big strongman comps that I've been talking about in the fall. So we're doing it all, baby. We're definitely staying uncomfortable and uh, you know trying to get a lot done in a short time frame. You know, I don't recommend this to everybody, but you know, I have some big goals, so that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, but you know, I'm pretty lean, like you can see like leg veins, right? We have lots of veins kind of coming in. So that's kind of what we're dealing with. I'm gonna be putting out a lot more uh, diet content uh, coming up. So telling you exactly how I did, what I did. Uh, obviously this all pertains to me. So you guys can, you know, take it for what it is. 
play around with some things with yourself. Uh, but I think the main concept is the structure that you can take away from it and uh, just how I systematize everything. Is systematize a word? Systematize, just, yeah. We just make up words. I read the other word I said the other day. It was like, Chester size, that was it. Coach Macon and Clutch. So we make up words here too. So you have to have a good overhead press and you have to be able to make up words on the fly. And that's why, that's what it takes to be here, to be elite at the Lions set. Okay, pair with a nice stogie. A great part about working hard is relaxing. So I don't drink a lot, but I've been making these old fashioned. So if you guys like old fashioned, you can use whatever bourbon you like. I like Knob Creek, uh, Bullet's pretty good. If you have any recommendations, put down in the comment section. But basically what I'll do is I'll put like three shot bourbon in there. Uh, I'm a little bit of a sissy girl, so I'll do three shot water as well. I put agave nectar in there and then I'll flake an orange peel. So it zests with some of the oils and citrus. And then I'll put one actual slice of orange on top uh, with a couple ice cubes. Man, pair that with a cigar if you like cigars. It's, it's been, it's been hella good. prodigy in here and he has 1500 pounds of beef so if you're wondering where i get my beef baby homegrown cattle from my man leo i gotta focus now that's incredible bro when i first built the rest here all right so three sets here uh anywhere from that 15 to 20 rep range I kind of really feel like that's where I get the best growth for me personally. If you feel like, you know, the 12 to 15 or 10 to 15 work for you, stay there. Um, but just really trying to push. And like, I'm always a big fan of uh, full range of motion and not much body English. However, <laughs> you know, Coach Joe, gray area, right in the middle of everything. We got the bro guys over here and the nerdy science guys over here. I'm right in the middle. I do like getting a little bit of momentum to kind of get some support uh, to get a couple extra force reps. Uh, specifically, you know, for my chest because I really feel like I got to bring that up. Uh, so that's what we're doing with these. Next, you're going to see us doing a super set of uh, deficit push ups and some face pulls, and that's it for the session. All right, so we got Coach Tiny doing a two finger face pull, right? So instead of grabbing with your hands and possibly using, you know, a little bit uh, extra muscles, we're limiting ourselves by only using two fingers. So it's just going to hit the shoulder, okay, the trap, the rear delt like crazy. So if you guys are really trying to focus on uh, targeting muscles specifically uh, for the face pull, two fingers is gonna help. Just a different variation for you to try. Uh, so that's what she's doing. And then she'll maybe tell you how it feels. Yeah, wow. You feel different? I can't say I've ever done that. Yeah, definitely. I can feel it way more like in that upper, like all the, yeah. yeah, like all traps, definitely. Sorry, it's good. So we'll do three sets of that super set. You can tell I'm out of breath. You kind of just crank it out back and forth. It saves a little bit of time. And just uh, anything after that, I just feel like it's junk volume. So three sets, basically 15 to 20 reps each. Then you're all done. Uh, so that's pretty much it for push day or chest day number two. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these training series along with the tips and tricks and the videos we're putting out. Coach Matt on the camera. 
doing a phenomenal job. Make sure you guys subscribe to his YouTube channel. He is currently training for an Ironman. Dude is insane. Uh, so if you wanna see how to do strength training and endurance stuff, which most people say, that can't be done. Well, here at the Lions Den, we also show you that things that people say can't be done, do get done. So follow Coach Matt, his journey, his Instagram, etc. cetera. Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. So make sure, one, Go to Facebook, type in the search bar, The Iron Lions. It's a Facebook group with people who love to lift. We do articles, form checks, uh, we put programs in there, etc. It's a really cool hub, so go join that group. Also, if you want programming and you don't like doing it yourself or maybe kind of hit your, your uh, threshold for your, your own coaching, uh, zatstrength.net has all our programs, custom programs, templates, etc. Go there. And then uh, lastly, I'm an HD muscle sponsor athlete. Okay, use code ZATSTRENGTH at checkout. Save yourself some money if you're in supplements. I love supplements. I've been taking them since I was in the womb, hence why I came out a 24 pound baby with a ripped six pack. Just kidding, it's quite the opposite. But uh, till then guys, stay a Lean Mean Strength Machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.